Welcome to the Weekly Report. For Randall Riley, I'm Joshua Miller. Let's get going and dive right into the numbers. This week in job board searches and clicks. Truck driver searches were down 7% week over week, 10% month over month, and 11% year over year. But clicks on driver postings were all up. 3% week over week, 23% month over month, and 39% year over year. Last week's trend continues as click rates increased yet again. Searches were down among all four major driving segments, company, owner, op, team, and trainee and experienced drivers, while clicks have now increased week over week in eight of the past 10 weeks. Clicks on company driver postings had the largest increase in clicks, while clicks on team driver posts saw the largest decrease percentage-wise week over week. This week in freight. Load postings were up 14% week over week, which is almost back to the levels we saw pre-Memorial Day, though they did still come in about 5% lower than the week just prior to the holiday. Load postings for all three major segments trended positively as drive-in was up by 13% week over week, refrigerator was up by 15%, and flatbed finished with an increase of 14% week over week. Truck postings <laughs> truck postings were also on the rise as truck availability increased by 24% week over week and reached the highest levels we've seen in seven weeks. In addition to that, the ratio of loads to trucks dipped to its lowest level in nine weeks as availability increased for all three segments. Drive-in was up 10%, refrigerated 5%, and flatbed saw a sharp increase of 36% week over week. Spot rates dipped ever so slightly by a little less than one cent week over week. And although the rates did drop by just a smidge, this is still the third highest average CPM rate ever, behind only the previous two weeks average rates. Drive-in fell by six cents while refrigerated dipped by 12 cents week over week, but flatbed trended upward with an increase of two cents week over week, setting another record level. And now for our story of the week. Pay consistently comes up as a common gripe among drivers and is often listed as an area that fleets need to address in order to retain more drivers. But is better pay alone enough? Well, one fleet, who shall remain nameless, is learning that contrary to popular belief, higher pay doesn't always equal more hires and better retention. Last fall, the fleet instituted traditional pay raises and expected to see positive returns from the move in their retention numbers. When that didn't exactly happen, they decided to talk to the drivers to try and come up with a better solution. The result? The fleet is now instituting guaranteed pay rates based on driver activity with the added flexibility for drivers to get home more often. Essentially, the way it works is as long as a driver is doing what they've been asked to do, they will receive a guaranteed minimum pay level. This guaranteed minimum level gives drivers peace of mind in knowing that their pay will never drop below a certain point. Should the driver choose to take on more than that base level of assignments or spend less time at home and more time on the road, they earn more. With shippers and warehouses struggling to find dock workers and forklift operators, many drivers have found themselves waiting for loads even more than usual. Making sure drivers are compensated for those non-productive hours spent waiting, through no fault of their own, has been a big sticking point among drivers for many years, but even more so recently. This guaranteed pay structure has begun to help address that issue. In addition to that, allowing drivers to take a more active role in choosing how often they get home while still knowing exactly how it will affect their pay has helped to increase those retention levels. It has also showed them that some of their drivers are willing to take less pay for the trade-off of being home every night or at the very least at home a lot more. For those drivers who get home the most, the guaranteed pay structure allows them to earn roughly $50,000 a year, while more active drivers average around $70,000 a year, with the ability to earn significantly more than that. So it would seem that by giving their drivers security with a minimum pay guarantee and a choice with clear expectations attached, meaning the ability to spend more time at home while making a little less money, the fleet has found success and a recipe for keeping drivers around. And that does it for this week's report. Come on back and see us next week as we cover the latest and greatest driver recruiting data and tackle a new story of the week. You can find all of our weekly reports over on our Randall Riley blog page as well as our YouTube channel 
along with a lot of other cool video content. And speaking of video content, an all new Digging Deeper dealing with recruiting efficiency is now up and we've also got a new episode of Listening In that will be debuting soon. If you've never checked those out, I encourage you to do so. Digging Deeper is more of a conversational interview show with our very own Dave Arsenal doing the interviewing, while Listening In has Randall Riley's VP of Sales Recruiting, Seth Becker uh, literally listening in to driver recruiting calls and then letting you know how he thought it went and giving some tips on how the recruiter may have done things a little bit better. This latest episode for Listening In will be the first in a series where Seth deconstructs several calls within each episode at various points in the conversation with the ultimate goal of showing you exactly how to build the perfect driver recruiting call. So head on over to our blog page or YouTube channel and watch Digging Deeper and keep your eyes peeled for the new Listening In. I'll also make sure to post on our social media platforms when that becomes available. And when you do start to poke around on the blog and YouTube page, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it. We look forward to seeing you back here next Wednesday morning for another all-new weekly report. Until then, have a great week, everybody.